Well, nothing directly over Omaha right now. That's not bad. It's a little drizzle out there, but you see the heavier pockets of rain just north of Bennington toward Valley, Kennard, Washington, uh, Wahoo, down to our south. These are the big storms that are starting to move in from Kansas right over Pawnee City right now. Maybe some small hail with that one. A lot of lightning and a lot of heavy rainfall as well. And another one heading toward Fairbury. And you can see the lightning strikes inside these storms. These are the ones. Anything with lightning, that makes me concerned because there are still a lot of football games out there tonight. If you hear thunder, whip open your phone, check the radar. If you see lightning heading toward you or a big red blob like this, make sure you get inside. Because especially with these storms down to our south, there could be large hail, damaging winds, and a lot of heavy rain with the storms. You can see the severe thunderstorm warnings, the polygons off to our west. We will just see the rain become more widespread as we go through this evening. This is the driest time we have right now. So if you have any plans, make sure you have an umbrella with you and expect a lot of rain and the potential for severe weather. We have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect from Cass County, Lancaster, so from Lincoln and Plattsmouth southward. This is where we have the best chance of seeing large hail and damaging winds through 11 o'clock tonight. In addition, most of the KETV viewing area is now included in this flood watch. It's slowly been lifted north as we went throughout today. And we've already had a lot of rain over the last couple of days, and we could add another two to four inches on this overnight. That's what our computer models are indicating in the purples and the reds. So watch out for high water and high water at night, incredibly dangerous. So that's why we always say do not drive across water covered roads. Hopefully the flash flooding threat is limited with this, but with how much rain we've had over the last couple of days, the ground's really saturated and any low lying area is going to collect a lot of water. So storm predictor shows Storms are still a little more isolated by 7 o'clock, but just in another hour or two, 9 o'clock. If there's a 7 o'clock kickoff for your football game this evening, this is why I'm concerned. The storms become really widespread after 7 o'clock, and some of these could be severe. They continue to slowly push east. 11 o'clock, they should be out of Nebraska. Western Iowa, you guys are getting hammered with the heavy rain. And then maybe we get a brief break from the rain around 3 or 4 a.m. Hey, 3 a.m., good Matchbox 20 song there. And then we have more scattered showers early tomorrow morning. 7 o'clock temperatures, low to mid-50s. So if you're an early tailgater in Lincoln, you might have to deal with a few light rain showers. But if you start the tailgate around noon, seems reasonable for a 7 o'clock game. Clouds should be out of here and conditions improve. Upper 50s, low 60s by midday. And look at this, tomorrow afternoon, beautiful just in time. Upper 60s and low 70s for our highs tomorrow. Game time temperatures for the Huskers and the Badgers, low to mid 60s. Clear and quiet for the game. Might be a little breezy for tailgating early on. And then Sunday, beautiful, sunny and 76. And then a big old fall front comes in. Very windy with scattered rain showers Monday, Monday night into Tuesday. Highs dropping into the upper 50s. And then we do slowly rebound back into the 70s by the end of next week. But a really stormy night now. Nice weekend and a big cool down. Oof.